He's so mad at me. I'm sorry. I love you. Hello. Today we are talking about watercolor. <laughs> okay, so watercolor. <laughs> so I posted a video a while ago, or I don't know. I don't know when I'm posting things. I'm filming things and posting things and there's just a whole, I don't know what my schedule is. Um, can we not eat the carpet please? That would be fantastic. Hey, don't eat the carpet. You have food, you weirdo. Can you look at me about eating over there? Anyway, so I posted a video trying gouache for the first time. Then I said in that video that I wanted to try painting in watercolor again because I haven't really used watercolor in about five, six years and I haven't really like done a real project with watercolor in about 10 years. That used to be my preferred medium and then I discovered acrylic paints were easier to use and then I discovered that color pencils were easier to use and then I have not touched watercolor since then. But I just kind of wanted to revisit the medium but also get more acquainted with it again because I want to do a video that's painting the same picture with gouache and with watercolor and kind of compare the two and talk about what you can do with each medium the other can't and the benefits of each medium, things like that, and which I prefer. Spoiler alert, I prefer gouache. Watercolor was the first medium that I really worked in and I was like, oh, this is fantastic. And then I tried all these other mediums and I'm like, oh, watercolor sucks. Like, <laughs> you can get really cool effects with it. Don't get me wrong, but it's just so difficult to work in and you really have to think through what you're gonna do before you do it because you can't paint over something once it's on the paper and you can't paint with white. So if you want something to be white, you have to leave white space where the, like, so, so that the paper can show through rather than, you know, with any other medium, you just kind of slap some white paint or white pencil or white whatever on top of it. Would you like to say hi? I mean, I know you don't. <laughs> say hi. You always look so grumpy. The face of love right here. Mm -hmm. And I just don't put that much thought into my process of how I'm going to do something. And I just like to jump right in and do it. And you can't really do that with watercolor. Or I can't. I always mess it up somehow. And it's just, it's not the medium for me. But anyway, I do want to make that other gouache video. Gouache and watercolor video. So I... I'm making this video to kind of supplement that. So this is me using watercolor for the first time in, let's say, 10 years.
started this video over the summer and then lost the footage and gave up halfway through most of the projects and the only one I finished was this one so you didn't see me work on this in the video but so this was technically like the first watercolor I did in, in 10 years I really like this I really like this little guy I think he's really cute but this is pretty simple in terms of watercolor skill level and like capability so I tip it hang on y'all have to see this so like I said I did this I filmed this project over summer that's the only piece that I actually completed but I don't have the footage of me actually doing it because my camera just decided to uh, delete all the footage so that's great and I think I said this in the gouache video but I'm really bad at painting clouds but I love the way that clouds look and I want to learn how to paint them so I've made it a project of mine to force myself to paint clouds even if they turn out bad every time I do one of these so that's why there's clouds and they don't look that great but it's fine the first one I did was this one it's just simple it was more of like a warm-up because I hadn't used these watercolors that I was using ever so I just kind of wanted to see how they reacted to the paper I was using and saturation and pigment and everything and then this is the next one I did And it's just some pink and purple clouds. So they don't really look that much like clouds, but I'm happy with how they came out. Um, let me find a picture. Oh, look at this cow. I, I want a cow so bad, just a little baby cow to love on. Not relevant. Okay, so this is the reference picture I used. For this and I, the colors aren't the same and I am gonna go back with um, with my ink and add the birds in I think I'm gonna do them do them in gold and then do black on top of it so that it has like some metallic to it or something I don't know I'm gonna I want to do something else with this and like do some stuff up here but this is how it is as it stands with just watercolor and it looks cool it might not look like clouds, but it looks cool and it was kind of warming me up to doing clouds with watercolor because I've never done clouds in watercolor before. So I don't hate it and the colors together are very pretty. So after that, I did this one and it doesn't really make sense on its own, but when you see the reference picture, I feel like it makes more sense. So this is the reference picture and it's like big dark stormy clouds. So I'm gonna go in and add um, lightning in here with my white ink pen so that gives more context to what this is supposed to look like but again this is just me experimenting with clouds and I'll be honest after painting here let me get the gouache hey <laughs> so after painting I did two cloud paintings in gouache this one and this one and I mean, I will compare when I do the video of both of them, but 
Painting clouds with gouache is so much easier because you can add in highlights after the fact and you can't add in highlights after the fact with watercolor so I had to leave this part white when I was painting and it's just hard because I'm, I'm pretty heavy handed with paint so a lot of times I have to go back and add things on top of it to kind of like retract from what I did if that makes sense and you can't do that with watercolor but I still like the vibe of this and I like the textures the textures that the watercolor gave to the piece and then I did the moon y'all know that I love the moon do y'all know that well if you don't then I love the moon and I didn't want to do just like a black and white moon so I found this I found this as my reference photo just for a color palette so here she is I really love how this turned out I just I like the little moon I would say these two are my favorites out of all of them and I want to go in and add some little gold stars around this I think but this one is definitely my favorite color wise like I like the colors used in this so yeah those are all my watercolors I hope you enjoyed this video and I will be doing the gouache versus watercolor video really soon um, maybe like in the next weekend or two but I don't know when they will be posted on here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.